Okay, YouTubers, this is the Angry Prepper. Today's episode is going to be on my scout pack. Now, this is a hazard for officer's front uh, pack. I use this as my scout pack when I'm scouting out new locations for uh, videos or outings with the NYC Prepper Group, right? So, the Prepper Group that I run or help run, we do outings pretty much every month and each month is a different theme right so uh, we are actually going out next month in the Catskills for a Havasack weekend right so nothing but Havasack if you can't fit your Havasack or your bedroll uh, it's out right so you can't have a pack or anything like that it's strictly Havasack and a bedroll so I am scouting a specific spot in the Catskills in two weeks and I'm just gonna show you a quick video on what's in my scout pack now with the scout pack is my bushcraft belt right I can wear the bushcraft belt with this pack because it's a shorter pack right it's not the half track the half track is longer comes down about here and it rides the belt so that's not a good uh, marriage if you will with the half track I wrap the belt around the pack this I can wear on my waist and then wear this at the same time no problem at all um, reason why I have so many packs well because I have too many bags and I might as well do something with them right so if you see my bushcraft belt video I did change this this has a full on uh, survival kit now right so if I leave this pack I have shelter uh, fire and a water filter in here uh, life straw sorry in here so this belt is, is a little more squared away it's going to evolve a little more I'm adding a little other pouch on here which has a what is it called um char cloth in here so and here's my my small emergency fire kit as well right so i have some fire starting stuff in here and i have this kit here as well you can watch the video for the full um you can watch the video for the full example of what's in the bushcraft belt all right all right so like i said before this is the hazard for um Pack. It's called the Officer's Front. I use this pack for a Go Ruck event, so it passed the Go Ruck beating. So this is a squared away uh, tough bag. The thing I like about this pack is the way it opens, right? It opens up uh, like a hinged door, which is pretty cool. Alright, so I do have stuff in here. Let me show you some the stuff in here first. Okay, well, not much, but I have a compass, and I always carry my whiskey with me. I should actually have more in that compartment, but like I said, it's, it's for scouting, so it's not, uh, it's not a lot. I have a daisy chain 550 cord, uh, tent stakes, though I don't have a, a tent in here, I'll show you what's in here. And a tourniquet. I will be doing a video on this tourniquet. It's called a rat tail. I think I've been saying I was going to do a video on that for a while now. All right. So first and foremost, when I go scouting, I like to be comfortable, uh, somewhat comfortable, All right? So I do carry a uh, a mat, right? An inflatable mat. Map of the area I'm scouting, which is the uh, Delaware Water Gap. So it's either the Jersey side or the Pennsylvania side haven't uh, haven't figured out which side I'm gonna go go with yet work gloves right leather work gloves because it's still a little cold I packed the uh, winter gloves the Carhartt winter gloves this is part of the shelter system this goes in the inside of the oil cloth tarp to reflect the heat uh, back onto me this is a, I think it's like a north by north uh, scarf. Has many uses. It's almost like a, sh what is it called, schmeg? It's almost like a schmeg, but it's wool, and it's pretty awesome. You could uh, filter through this, use it as a sling. I usually use it as a, to keep my neck and my, my face warm in the winter months. Because it's still cold, that's still in the bag. And the survival filter, this fits in here perfectly. Um, I'm gonna use this, of course, during the weekend. 
Another compass, backup compass. The Stanley uh, cook set, I did a video on this, you can check it out. I don't leave home without this thing, by the way. Water container. 550 cord, this is about 100 feet. And this is by uh, Warrior Cord. This cord is uh, supposedly really tough, but I haven't tested it yet. My uh, Bush Box by Bushcraft Essential at the bottom of the bag. My fire kit, which I'm going to do a video on, a really quick video of what's inside. Horseshoe fungus. I don't need to carry this much, but for whatever reason I do. Headlamp. Oil cloth tarp. This thing is about folded up. It's about probably five, maybe eight pounds. Actually, I'd venture to say this is 10. But I will uh, measure it when I, I'm sorry, I will weigh it when I get home and then I'll put the weight at the bottom. All right, guys, that is pretty much all. And my wool blanket roll. I do, what's not in the bag uh, today because I forgot, thank God I did the video, a uh, webbing and my other blanket, right? So I put the blanket, the second wool blanket across here and the webbing goes inside the back, right? So the webbing is so I could pull logs like what I'm doing this video on uh, to the campsite as like a seat or chair. There's so many down trees, the uh, parks guys have been going through and cutting uh, trees down or cutting them up off the trails so that you can pass through, right? But now with them doing that, they're making nice little tables and seats, right? So uh, that's why I use the webbing to pull those to the campsite and set them up uh, accordingly. All right, guys, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching. You could follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, and Google Plus, and Twitter, sorry. You could also listen to me on podcasts now, and you could also watch my uh, Urban channel as well. All right, guys, thank you for watching.